how do you feel when you think about your LinkedIn profile? Well, mine used to be a very sad version of my CV, but when I first started my freelance business, I really had to step up the game. LinkedIn now has become the number one site for business with currently over 600,000 members. Now, if you are a service provider and you are not using LinkedIn for your business, you are leaving money on the table. Now, the best place to start is with a winning LinkedIn profile that is fit for sales. Half-heartedly hanging in there isn't quite enough though. You need a professional profile that speaks to your target audience. If you are not sure whether your profile is up to scratch, you are in luck today because I'm sharing my top three tips for a great LinkedIn profile for business and sales with you. Hi and welcome, I'm Cecile Jemmett and I am a LinkedIn for Business Coach. I love helping fellow coaches, consultants and service providers grow their businesses with a holistic and non-cringy lead generation approach. If you like this video, do click on the subscribe button below so that you will never miss any of my future tips. With that said, here are my top three tips for creating a strong LinkedIn profile for lead generation. Tip number one, <laughs> get the all-star status. Now, from what I know, over 50% of LinkedIn members haven't got that all-star rating. Being on the other side of those 50% comes with benefits, and I'll talk about those in just a second. For now, if you go into your profile, you will see your rating in the top right corner of your dashboard. If it doesn't say all-star, <laughs> you probably have already received multiple friendly reminders by LinkedIn to complete your profile. So go on then, now is the time. But why is it that that all-star rating is so relevant? Basically, LinkedIn is a search engine. So just like on Google, people type their search criteria into the search field on the site. Now, LinkedIn will rank your profile so much better in the results if you have got that all-star status. Here we go, that's LinkedIn search engine optimization for you. Also, you totally place yourself ahead of those other 50%. I hope you can see now that it's really worth filling out those gaps and it shouldn't take you too long to do so anyway. So here's what you need for your all-star rating. You have to have a profile photo and you have to include your industry and location and update your current position along with a description. Then list at least two past positions and add your education details. This really um, will add to, your, to the credibility of your profile. Then list a minimum of three skills and have at least 50 connections in your network. Let's move on to tip number two, which is choose a good profile picture. First and foremost, do not use your company logo as your profile. In your personal profile, you are branding yourself, not your company. There's a place for your logo um, on your LinkedIn business page. In one of my last videos, I've spoken about how to create a company page on LinkedIn. So if you want to learn that, just um, go over there. Back to your photo. Now make sure that your profile picture is up to date. If someone meets you in person, for example, at a networking event, it really helps <laughs> if they can recognize you when looking at your profile on LinkedIn. Then you do want to make sure that your photograph looks professional. For starters, you do want to use a high resolution image uh, because blurry images are just not ideal. You also want to be the only one in the picture. Um, so no cut out friends, pets or glasses of bubbly. <laughs> you can share your fun side on other social media platforms, but it won't benefit you on LinkedIn. Professional does not necessarily mean stern though. So as long as the photograph is clean and has you smiling, it will work just fine. So moving on to my top tip number three. It's not about you. <laughs> By no means is this tip the last important one. I see um, profiles talking about themselves all the time. How great, how international, how big, how connected but you need to be aware that your potential clients don't really care about you or your business. And that's not me being harsh or cynical, but just human nature really. Your prospects are looking for a solution to the problems they have. They are after value and benefit for them, 
what's in it for me? How can this person help me? So do invest into getting to know your target audience and their pain points and adjust the wording in your profile accordingly. You do wanna say, hey, you've got the problem? Well, you're in the right place. I've got that solution for it. That's it, my top three tips for creating a great LinkedIn profile for sales and business. I hope that you have got um, some value out of this video. I'd love to hear, um, so do let me know in the comment section below. If you are now determined to improve your profile even further on LinkedIn, then I've got a free checklist for you ready to download. You can find the link below this video. Thanks so much for watching. If you care to see more tips like this, do make sure to um, click on the subscribe button. That's it. See you. Bye bye. Ciao, ciao. Tschüss.